Hello everyone, this is again Clark and welcome to my vlog. I'm going to do something new today. In fact, I've been planning to do this before but it's just that this morning that I had the opportunity of time to arrange my bookshelf. So right now, I'm going to tour you around my bookshelf. Okay, so are you excited to know what are the books that I have here at the back? <laughs> okay, so... I don't really have specific arrangement on my books and like the others where they arrange it by genre, by color, or by any way they can. In my case, I just wanna, you know, I just arrange it in whatever way I can, you know, whatever I find it, you know, aesthetic. <laughs> Let us begin at the uppermost corner or part of my bookshelf where I actually place my stuffed toys. And here they are, the two lovely pigs. Yeah, they actually are partners and all. <laughs> okay, and with them is this lovely Chinese teddy bear. And yeah, there they are. One big family. Yes, family of bears with one cheeky cheeky. <laughs> Second to the last level of my bookshop is where I place my top favorite reads. And there they are. We have The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, Empire of the Vampire by J. Christoph, Crooked Kingdom, yes, this is in fact one of my favorite reads in the year 2020. Also, my last year's favorite, in fact, it belongs to my top 10 reads, The Fires of Vengeance by Evan Winter. I love this book so much. I love the concept. And of course, always, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller and Cersei. Well, Cersei doesn't belong to my top 10 reads, but it's also, you know, one of my favorite reads as well. And the book that made me cry, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. The Hero of Ages, this is in fact the third book of the Mistborn series. And I always talk about this book, Andrew Weir's Hail Mary, or Project Hail Mary. There they are, all in all. These are my favorite reads, on the second to the last. In the fourth level is where I place some of the adult fantasy books and grimdark fantasy reads that I've read. Although there are some of them here that I haven't yet read and I'm planning to read them soon or just this month. Let us start here at the first box where you can find most of the grimdark fantasy books written by Mark Lawrence. Um, yeah, this one, The Nevernight Chronicles, actually was written by Jay Kristoff. This is a very good book. I have really high rating on this one. I love that epic battle you know as well as of course the the grimness and the darkness of the scenes here and we have uh, prince of thorns emperor of thorns king of thorns you know this is a series written by mark lawrence uh snakewood you know i haven't read it yet although i've heard a lot of good reviews on this uh, this one is another mark lawrence the liar's key i already have read this uh, the Book of the Ancestor, Red Sister, Grey Sister, Holy Sister, and I'm planning to read this this month. Okay, this one is uh, Book of Ice. The first book, The Girl and the Stars. The Girl in the Mountain, the second book, actually written by the same author, Mark Lawrence. Uh, mm -hmm. Prince of Fools, I haven't read it yet. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Oshim. Of Saints and Shadows, this isn't uh, Mark Lawrence. This one was written by Christopher Golden. Okay, that's the first corner. The next two boxes are occupied by my favorite author, Brandon Sanderson, whose almost all his books I already read. Let's begin with, of course, The Alley of Law. And we have The Alcatraz, The Evil Librarians, The Arithmetis. I haven't read it yet, unfortunately. Uh, Still Heart, yes. Calamity. Uh, they are actually a series. I don't have the book one. I mean book two. I know, I'm not sure if it's book two or book three. But the book one here is still hard. Uh, Arcanum Unbound. Yes. Elantris. Most people actually who I know do not like this much. But uh, I have a different opinion. Warbreaker. This is really, really wonderful. The magic system, you know, is amazing. You know, Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, I'm done reading all of this. Uh, Skyward, Cytonic, 
we have Starsight, uh, The Well of Ascension, Book 2 of Mistborn, and of course, The Final Empire. And, of course, The Rhythm of War. <laughs> Unfortunately, I sold my Word of, Word of Radiance and Oathbringer because they're all actually uh, TP or just paperback. So, I'm trying, you know, I'm planning to convert them actually into hardbound. Okay. I am so excited for the, you know, last book of the Stormlight Archive. The first book in this corner is The Pariah by Anthony Ryans. The book too already has been published this year and uh, I'm planning to read that this month. Uh, the Rage of Dragons. This one is the first book of uh, the series The Burning. Yes, and this one is actually its book too. We have here John Green's The Shadows of the Gods. The Hunger of the Gods is now out and uh, I'm gonna read that one too. Maybe sooner. <laughs> I have a lot of DVRs. Okay, so Poppy War. You know, I really arranged it this way, you know, with its uh, cover front mm -hmm, because I love it. I love the cover. Uh, the Poppy War is, of course, the first book. We have uh, The Dragon Republic and The Burning God. Mm -hmm. More grimdark fantasy in this corner. We have Blood Rose and Kings of the Wilds by Nicholas E. Ames. I don't know if I pronounced the name correctly, but I love this series as well. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, it's very unique. It's like an old band, you know, being recollected. They are reunited, you know, in a setting of a fantasy world. Okay, we have, uh, of course, uh, this one is Joe Abercrombie's books. I'm done reading the, you know, the first law trilogy. Okay, with its first book, The Blade itself. Mm, the second book is we have Before They Are Hanged. And uh, of course, its conclusion. The last argument of kings. I'm going to start reading, okay, the Age of Madness, okay, with its first book, A Little Hatred. Maybe this December, maybe just maybe. <laughs> and the final box of this fourth level is, of course, a very long adult fantasy, okay, by Robert Jordan. Okay, this one is The Wheel of Time. Mm hmm. Uh, I read already The Eye of the World last year, and I'm planning to read its second book, third book, you know, just this year, and the rest maybe, you know, the next year. <laughs> okay, also, this one is not adult, this one is actually middle grade fantasy, written by Philip Pullman. Mm -hmm. Yes, The Golden Compass. Mm -hmm. Now, let's have the third level. To start off, we have Aristotle and Dante Discovers the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Aleri Saenz. Just a trivia, this book is now turned into a film and uh, this is going to be watched or be available in a silver screen. I'm not sure if it's in the silver screen or just maybe in the online platform. Uh, but maybe this year or next year, early next year. Okay, we have another... You know, Benjamin Saenz, the second book of uh, that series. Okay, we have, I love this, I love the cover. Aristotle and Dante dive into the waters of the world. Mm -hmm. The book one is, you know, more emotional than this one. But this one is more mature. Okay, we have, you know, the girls are never gone. Okay. Um, November 1 is fast approaching, so if you're going to prefer a specific um, horror book, you know, I would recommend this for you. Okay, this one is another horror book. Okay, we have Fear the Drowning Deep, and uh, you know, these four books, you know, are, are written by Sarah Glenn Marsh. Reign of the Fallen and Song of the Dead is a fantasy book, a YA. Okay, and this book you know, is actually one of my favorite books of all time. The Serpent King by Jeff Zenter. You know, shout out to, to Jeff. Hello. Um, yeah, this is another book by Jeff Zenter. Goodbye Days and his latest in the wide light. I intended this corner just for V.E. Schwab. 
And uh, here are some of the books that she's written. And uh, fortunately, I read all of them. Ah, sorry, I haven't yet read The Savage Song and Our Darkest Do It. <laughs> yeah, but these ones are actually the earliest books she'd written. Although the newest one, The Galleon, I read it already. Okay, we have, of course, the iconic The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue. I like this book so much, and you know why. <laughs> the Galleon, mm -hmm. uh, this is also horror. And uh, if you're a fan of The Secret Garden and uh, the film called, I forget the film title, but it's about. Ah, okay, Crimson Peak. Yes, if you love those two movies, you know, you would certainly love The Galleon. Okay. And we have the dark, I mean, our dark duet, The Savage Song, The City of Ghosts. Obviously, it's, it's a ghost story. And of course, um, the book or the series that make, I mean, that made Vishwa popular, A Darker Shade of Magic. Okay, I love book one, book two, I have some issues. Book three, well, uh, it's really, really great redemption. <laughs> Alright, let's do it quickly. We have Hanura Janimi, The Invisible Planet Collected Fiction. We have The Night Angel by Brent Weeks, and the rest of this actually were written as well by Brent Weeks. The Black Person, done reading this. The Blinding Knife, now reading this at the moment, The Broken Eye and The Blood Mirror. We'll read this as well this year. And of course, you know, this one is actually Mathia's favorite, She Who Became the Sun. The next one, <laughs> yes, and speaking of Mathia, we actually better read this one, but unfortunately, she dnf this, The Black Tongue Thief. Yes, but I really love this book as well. <laughs> okay, and The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rutfus. Okay, we have uh, its second book. We have The Wise Man's Fear. And uh, shout out to you, Patrick Rutfus. It's been, you know, a decade now. You haven't yet released the third book of this series. Okay, wow. Obviously, Matthew loved this book. Jade City, Jade Legacy, and Jade War. And the main reason why I actually let it face, you know, the, you know, the audience, the Jade War, because this is my favorite of all. Just the same as Matthew. Okay. Next, we have... Uh, some YA reads. Mm -hmm. This is Lei Bardogo's first adult fantasy series. This is a Dark Academia, Ninth House. Uh, we have Ariadne by Jennifer Saint, Prison Healer. You know, I haven't yet read it, read it now. <laughs> Sorry, The Starless Sea. You know by Irene Morgan Stern. And, you know, this one is better than The Night Circus. That almost everybody actually you know go crazy. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do understand that you know the the hype. <laughs> okay, we have here Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmare, book one, book two by Lainey Taylor. And of course, uh, these ones are also books written by Leigh Bardugo. Uh, we have Rule of Wolves and King of Scars. Six of Crows, this one is the first book of uh, the the duology, but uh, I heard that there's a plan to write the third book of this book. Initially, it's, it's a duology, but because of the hype, you know, uh, Leigh Bardugo decided to write the third book. And the language of thorns, as you can see, it's still sealed. I haven't read it yet. Okay, let's just proceed it here. Okay, unfortunately, I haven't read all of these books. Okay, uh, these are books written by um, Daniel Abraham, <laughs> and as you can see, you have he we have here double copies of the second book of the Dagger and the Coin, <laughs> and uh, book three as well. We are down to the second level. Let's do it now. The first book here in this row or in this level is Young Elites by Mary Lou, uh, The Rose Society, and The Midnight Star. This is actually a series. And the next series is written by a Filipino author, Edgar Samar. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let me show it to you. Jano Silang, Atang Kianak ng Tabon. Mm -hmm. I love the cover. Also, you've reached Sam. This is, this is actually my recent read. Uh, the Beast Made of the Night and The Crown of Thunder. This is a duology. 
Morning Star, Golden Sun, and of course Red Rising. This is as well a series. This is a duology, The White City and Down Station. Jim Butcher. <laughs> I don't know why is it here. Okay, next are books written by Rick Riordan. You know, uh, Rick Riordan actually occupies two boxes here. We have uh, Greek Heroes. This is a very large book. And also uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Okay, here we have Heroes of Olympus series. Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, plus of course the mythology book here, and we have here the Throne of Fire series. Mm -hmm. This one is Patrick Ness Corner. We have And the Ocean Was the Sky. Yes, this is a very short novel with some graphical information about the book. Okay, we have uh, Chaos Walking, of course, always my favorite series. The Life, I mean, The Knife of Never Letting Go, The Ass and the Answer, which is the second book, Monsters of Man, and uh, his standalone Burn. Hmm. I love the cover. Look at it. It's a dragon, a fiery dragon. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Uh, the only book that I don't have here is its last book, uh, The Desolation of Devil's Acre, I think, yes. And I also have its companion book, Tales of Peculiar. Um, yeah, this book is a collection of short stories about uh, the whole series. Okay, and also, you know, uh, not many people actually talk about this. The Elf Rim, but this one is also one of the amazing books I've read. This is a middle grade book. I consider this as room for gems because uh, it's where I place my favorite author's books, Sidney Sheldon. Okay, we have here The Star Shines Down, A Stranger in the Mirror, The Naked Face, The Sounds of Time, Other Side of Midnight, Morning, Noon, and Night, Bloodline. Uh, the best laid plans, nothing lasts forever if tomorrow comes, if you're afraid of the dark and rage of angels. Um, yeah, I have also the Masters of the Game. I actually let Mathia borrow that book. You know, she, she will be returning that probably uh, this year, <laughs> hopefully. So I have uh, the complete copy. Oh, sorry, I don't have yet the three other books. Mm -hmm. And we have here some other uh, pocket books. I haven't read them yet. <laughs> Finally, we are down to the ground level where some classic books and non-fiction books are placed. Also, you may find here some of the books that I'm planning to sell, so just so you're interested, you know, just let me know. <laughs> Let's start with Tigana by Guy Gabriel Key. Uh, this is actually a classic fantasy. Yes, not as excellent as other high fantasy books I've read but this one is good as well Halo uh, we have The House of the Scorpion and The Lord of Opium written by Nancy Farmer this is actually a duology we have The Refrigerator Monologue this is just a quick read The Boy and the Tiger's Heart Patricia A. Makilip The Forgotten Beast of Eld also the books written by Con Eggleden I haven't yet started the series because this is not yet complete. I'm planning to read it once it's complete. Also, Project Pandora. Yeah, I read it in the year 2020. Uh, yeah, in the first month of the pandemic. Yeah, This is really a great help for me to cope with my situation because uh, I get, I mean, I got to know some of the readers here in the Philippines. We better read that all over the country. Okay. Here we have some YA books written by Becky Albertalli, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, uh, Leia on the Offbeat, okay, and uh, The Upside Unrequited. Um, books written by Neil Schusterman, Dry, Unsold, Unbound. This is a dystology but I only have two books. Okay, we have here, uh, yeah, you can just see it yourself. <laughs> In the next box we have uh, some hardbound <laughs> yes you might be interested to buy these books uh, i have here stephen king's rose matter 
this is a trilogy this is complete so if you want to buy this one just let me know oh i love the cover of zivil and finch this is the first book and the second book here is this mm -hmm. uh, hmm. so here another cover of cersei and the song of achilles and yeah i have arsenal of books written by shrelin canyon sorry canyon yes there they are that's over 30 oh my god but you know interestingly i only read a few of them here <laughs> and this is what i said some classic books and non-fiction yeah i only have a few of these books and you know why <laughs> all right this is no longer a bookshelf but i just want to share this to you because i love it i love this corner as well <laughs> That's my speaker up there, and she's my doll, a very large doll, a Chinese doll. I love her. Yes, I always pinch her cheek. Very, very, very cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, also another Chinese entities. <laughs> yes, they are actually couples, sana all. And there I am at the back, just looking at them. <laughs> also, yeah, that's the artwork made by you know mafia from the book the knife of never letting go with another couple sana all <laughs> okay and you know uh, assorted stuff toys we have actually there the bear rabbit elephant monkey dog and another artwork made by mafia that one actually is vin from his born and this one this is creepy kangaroo Ah, yeah, this one actually came straight from Australia. Yes. Yes. That is how my bookshelf will look like in widescreen.